Hey guys, today I'm going to give you all an update on my natural hair. I've been natural for three years. Well, actually I hit three years back in September, but I was kind of busy with life, so I didn't get a chance to do an update. Basically, I'm just going to give you all a brief summary of my natural hair journey, what I've been doing, what I've not been doing, etc. So basically, I relaxed my hair back in 2008 and I decided to go back natural in 2013. The thing I have to precise is that when I picked up my hair in 2013, I started using the Dudu Osun African Black Soap to wash my hair. And the only reason why this happened is because I didn't have shampoo and that was the only soap I had in the bathroom. Since 2013 all until now, this is the only soap shampoo that I use to wash my hair. So that is the only thing I had to precise for when I big job. And then within the first year from 2013 to 2014, I wasn't really doing anything to my hair simply because I didn't know anything about my hair. Growing up as a child in the Caribbean, you know, your mother would just put grease in your hair, castor oil, coconut oil, but it was just out of routine. Like we would not dip conditioning or anything. I didn't know anything about natural hair, okay? I decided to went back um, natural because my hair was breaking off. My relaxed hair was breaking up due to the climate because I relaxed my hair in the Caribbean and it was growing perfectly fine. I had long hair, whatever. And then I moved to Europe and it was extremely cold over there and it was not going with my hair at all. So back in Europe, I decided to go back natural. For the first year, I've been using only olive oil, coconut oil and castor oil. These are the three oils I would I was using simply because my mom used to send them to me. Honestly, and that is it. Like I would hardly do anything to my hair. I did a lot of protective hairstyling. Well, I didn't know it was protective hairstyling. I used to just wear wigs and weaves simply because my hair was super short. When I cut my hair, I couldn't do anything with it and I didn't like to see myself with short hair. So I was just wearing wigs and weave throughout the entire first year. So basically that is it. And surprisingly enough, my hair was growing extremely fast. Although I wasn't doing anything to my hair because I didn't know anything about hair. And it was still growing, so that is it for the first year basically. Then in 2014, well late 2013, beginning of 2014, that is when, as I said, my hair started to grow. So, you know, the ends were getting dry and brutal and my scalp also with the climate because it's super cold. And I decided to go on YouTube. Like, I had no idea all these natural hair stuff was going on on YouTube although I watched the videos like most of the products they were advertising on their channel I could not really get them where I was in France and I didn't really want to order a lot of stuff online like what if I run out of a product I wanted to be able to just go in the store and purchase it so yeah, for my year 2014, I was more like learning my hair, trying new oils, avocado, avocado oil, and the usual, my usual coconut and castor oil with olive oil and avocado oils. These were like the first four oils I've been using. And then after that, I started using um, chia butter and doing my own shea butter because I saw it in a store, in an African store in Tongue and I started making my own shea butter for my hair how often I used to wash my hair as often as needed I had a period where I experienced a lot of itchiness why? I don't know, like there was no visible dandruff in my hair or anything but my scalp used to be like so itchy 
and I started using apple cider vinegar rinse I just used to work with what I have and work with my knees like if my scalp was itchy then that's the only time I would go on the internet and look for a solution you know like if my hands were dry or if my hair was breaking off I would start doing research on protein treatment and all that stuff and it's little by little while I was learning my hair, like learning, getting to know my hair for itself, my first reaction when I started watching YouTube videos and all that was like, this is time consuming. Like, I was like, oh my god, all these products, so many steps, and whatever, whatever. And thank god I never fell into that trap because I don't have the patience for that, anyways. I don't have the patience to do all the inversion methods and whatever whatever so my first two years being natural were very simple it's at the end of 2015 when i was like two years and a half when i decided to take youtube seriously because my first video i posted on youtube was growing natural hair on a budget because that is what I did. I was a student, y'all, broke as hell. I didn't have no money. I wasn't gonna spend 23 euros for one shea butter, you know. Kanto shea butter is super expensive where I was. I wasn't gonna spend all that money for products. So I worked with what I had and my hair still grew. So that being said, bear in mind that I wasn't even using any kind of leave-in conditioner, any kind of moisturizer or anything like that. My hair, at one point, it was still growing, but I could feel, you know, it was starting to get dry. So that was back in 2015 when I started my um, deep conditioning series for the month of December. And I'll put the link to this video in the description box. I have a series of deep condition that I tried on my hair. Some were fails, some were heat. And that's how I want you to experience your hair. Like try stuff for yourself. I mean, it's okay to take knowledge from other people but do your own research for yourself based on your type of hair i hear people raving about contour shea butter and whatnot most of their products do not do anything for my hair i don't know if my hair is from another planet but like seriously so i decided to go natural like completely natural products do my own stuff you know using yogurt using mayonnaise and avocado banana like stuff that are available to me and i can use regularly and they work my girls were defined my hair was like super super moisturized at one point i couldn't even recognize my hair when i started doing the um rice water rinse i also have a video on that when i started using rice water i was flabbergasted by the softness of my hair like my hair was super soft manageable I had no problem with my hair although I was living in extremely cold weather I have to precise and then that's where I also went on a three month challenge I think it was three yeah 90 days three month challenge for healthy hair and it's only at the end in like 2015 like that was two years and a half that I start buying products online and I came across the what's it called the Monet leave-in conditioner Monet oil leave-in conditioner and I absolutely love that stuff I used to bear in mind it's winter I'm talking about okay I used to moisturize my hair spend whole day outside in the cold weather and come back home and my hair would still be damp this is how good this product used to work for my hair and I stick to it I used to buy only that like one leave-in conditioner I didn't have a whole bunch of leave-in conditioner I had one leave-in conditioner and then for my challenge the other thing the only thing I changed is adding a lot of different oils. I was no longer using the avocado oil and all that. I started using jojoba oil, peppermint, hemp oil, tea tree oil, 
pumpkin oil you know all kind of different oils even the the there's an Indian oil Amla or Alma one of them I would put the name if I'm mistaken and I also have a link to that challenge where I was really it was a challenge to see if doing all that actually made my hair grow faster or not and by doing so you know I came across a lot of products that actually work for my hair well not a lot a few products that works for my hair when it comes to keeping it manageable and detangle and all that jazz and that was it like as of 2016 I recently posted my wash routine and I will link that video also if you want to check it out where it's also back to basic like my same Dudu Austin African back soap that I've been using from the very beginning I changed my conditioner the conditioner that I was using in France was a uh, honey it was honey and shea butter and this one is a cream of nature condition that I absolutely love I just ordered two more online so this I think that's the only product that I buy for my hair online which is soap and condition my deep condition is homemade with avocado and I absolutely love it you know that's how you get to know your hair after trying so many deep conditions and trying so many things I finally came across my own recipe that I created I invented for my hair type and it's it works it literally melts away all the knots in my hair and everything like that I, I you can try it out perhaps it will work for you and that's about it when it comes to excessive product use I do not have a lot of products for my hair I have a lot of oils as I say and I do not use all the oils at the same time I always mix three oils or four oils the most together just for my scalp and that's it and this is 2016 three years after and this is the amount of hair I have am i focused on growth not really as long as my hair is healthy that's the only thing that really matters to me that my hair stays thick and manageable i see some people spend so many times detangling their hair if you're struggling to detangle your hair change your product stop using things that are not working for you because other people are using it i had to spend 10 minutes detangling my hair this is the key sentence to my natural hair journey find what works for you do not fall into this trap of consumerism just buying things because other people are buying them and what else i think that's it for my journey oh i started incorporating massages which didn't last long because i'm lazy so it only I probably did that for a month or two and then I never massaged my hair again. It's only exercising and washing my hair often that makes my hair grow. But to me, when I compare, I've also done a twice a week wash challenge and my hair grew a lot. In the two months, I used to wash my hair twice a week. And that's about it for my journey i trimmed my hair like two days ago i think or last week yeah so i don't have no hair goals like some people have i used to have a hair goal but at the point where i am i'm completely satisfied with the amount of hair that i have because i don't have patience to deal with a lot of hair so if my hair was super long and still thick I don't know I would relax it because I would lose patience so for what it is I'm satisfied with it and that's it for my natural hair update I hope it was not too long and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and to share make sure you share this video with your friends your family somebody who might find it useful also and i will see you soon in the next video bye bye